Hi, this is Steve here from uh, Gear Unboxed. Our channel is all about motorbike gear. We've got many videos to come. We're not sponsored. Any information we give or opinions are ours alone. They get no financial gain from suppliers. Really would appreciate your support by liking and subscribing to our channel to ensure you get as much future content as possible. Right, on to the first product. Before we start talking about the Nolan K88 helmet, I just want to let you know that uh, the first helmet I bought was 20 years ago. It was the Arai 4XXXX, lost count of the X's, but it cost over £400. And apart from the gold ACU sticker, what did it have? Vents. Oh my lord, hasn't it changed? Let's move rapidly on. Let's get on to the Nolan K88. Let's unbox it and see what's in there. Okay, we've got the helmet, which I will unwrap in a minute. We have various bits of literature, which is, uh, I guess, an operator's manual and five-year guarantee. Let's move the box out of the way so we can see what we're looking at. I'm not going to bother with the paperwork at this stage. So it comes wrapped in a, a reasonable cover. Personally, I prefer one with a little bit more cushioning on it. So it's, I think, more suitable for transport around. There's the cover. It's decent. There's the helmet. Um, these come in uh, basically the plane or graphics. Uh, typical price point is about 199 for plain, 239 for graphics. So let's have a look and see all the way around. Take the protective skin off there. Turn it around so you can see it. It's got a center lift for the visor. Which has got more than one position, which is quite handy. There, you have chin vents, you have top vents, uh, and you also have a very handy drop-down sun visor. They certainly never had that when I started biking, and it is easy to use with your gloves on as well. And then to release it back is a catch just at the front, which I can't find. Oh yeah, right, it's gone. Um, nice addition, that. So, let's just put the helmet down like that, and turn it around so you can see the whole thing. Personally, I love the black and yellow combination. I think it looks nice, although that's obviously a subjective opinion. You can open and close the vents, by the way. But it also helps for it to stand out, because one of the most important things on a bike is to be seen. Uh, not just to look for other people, but to be seen as well. I'll turn the helmet there so you can see it. Uh, let's talk more specifically about the helmet. Okay, it complies with the latest... It has the gold ACU sticker, which is, you'd, which is what you'd expect. It complies with the latest safety standards, 2206 standard, safety standard. This is a really fantastic entry level helmet. Uh, you can buy cheaper, personally I wouldn't recommend it. You can buy an awful lot more expensive as well. It's got a Lexan polycarbonate construction. It's got a very good wide vision, which is obviously good for being able to look around more easily, have a, a wider field of view. It has something which is really, I think, absolutely necessary on all helmets these days. It has a pin lock, which you can possibly see like an extra unit inside the visor. And it basically stops fogging up. One of the biggest problems I used to have with my old Arai helmet was I was constantly having to wipe liquid onto it to stop the, uh, the fogging. Um, obviously, if you only travel in hot weather, you're not really gonna see it. But anything in this climate in the UK, you really need a pin lock. This is a superb piece of uh, technology. The padding inside, the climber padding is eco-friendly. 
um, which I think is something to bear in mind. The chin pads are removable. The unit with the padding inside is glasses friendly, which is obviously, obviously important because not everyone has perfect vision, myself included. As I said, the sun visor at the front, the visor has four different positions. I just would have it slightly cracked open or fully down, but that's personal choice. It also has at the top, inside there, at the top, you have what's known as uh, LPC, lining position control. So you can actually adjust the internal head uh, padding so you get your unit, your, your head perfectly square and comfortable within the helmet. And comfort is obviously very important if you're going to be using this for any, any period of time. The fitting, the strap here, um, there's basically, I understand there's two different types of strap. The normal D-Link, which is what I've been used to, but you also have like a ratchet strap here with an emergency release on here, which trust me, you can operate with gloves. And that's obviously quite useful when you're putting your helmet on and off. It's also ready for MCOMs. And uh, basically what that is, is so you can have it where you have a brake, you have a light on the back, which activates in emergency, obviously emergency braking. So you have an extra stop light on the back of your head, which is handy. It also has, as you can see just here, uh, a chin wind guard that helps to cut down wind noise. I personally have used one of these helmets. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. What I will say is if you want to look for motorbike gear and you're within anything like a reasonable driving distance of Cheltenham, you need to go to the biker company. I'm now going to show you some pictures of the internals uh, and the externals. There's a, be a contact a link to the biker company in the comments below. They're worth a visit. They're great people, fantastic range of product. They really have a superb range of product and these people know what they're talking about. That's it for this helmet. There's gonna be more product coming. Thank you for watching and yeah, I recommend this helmet. In fact, I've got it, so uh, it can't be that bad. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. I really would appreciate your support. I think it's important that you get independent views of um, all the range of motorbike gear that's out there because there's a huge range of stuff out there. A lot of the, like for the fitments, um, like for instance, this helmet suits my head because it's round rather than some of the other ones which tend to be a little bit more oblong. We're all different. We're all different in many different ways, including our head shapes and fitment and service is really important and uh, that's one of the things that impressed me about the biker company simply they took uh, a long time getting me the right helmet so there you go i look forward to doing more content for you uh, informing you about everything that's new and important in motorbike gear thank you from uh, gear unboxed and hope to see you again soon bye